So what's up YouTube? I just wanted to do a video um, talking about something that a person trying to sell you a six pack program will never tell you. The reason they won't tell this to you is because they have to maximize their profits. Okay, they're trying to sell you shit. And so their goal is that you buy it. And the tr simple truth here is that there is a good chance that whatever program you follow, you'll achieve the body of your dreams and it actually won't make you happy. So why won't, why, why would, would that happen? Why would you achieve the body of your dreams and it wouldn't make you happy? Well, this, because, you know, when somebody's trying to sell you a program, they have to keep it positive, 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 right? But one thing that we kind of forget or we try to avoid thinking of is that food makes you happy. Eating the amount of food that makes you comfortable, there's comfort that comes from food. If you eat too much, you know, and start using it like it's a drug, you're not going to be happy. And if you eat too little and you're like hungry all the time, you're not going to be happy. So let's say you, you, you're lazy and then all of a sudden you get active and you get into this whole, you know, fitness lifestyle. You learn how to train properly. You start eating right. Your body's going to get to a certain fat level. You're going to drop fat, drop fat. And then down here is where you have a six pack. And this middle ground is where your body's comfortable with but your abs don't show. And to be less than, have less fat than that, you're always going to have to restrict yourself. You're always gonna have to worry about like, oh my God, I can't eat this, I can't eat that. Oh, but can I eat this at this time? Can I fit it into my calories? Should I eat it later? You know, oh, I slipped up and now I feel guilty. And there's certain, you know, there's a lot of six pack channels where I agree with what they say in the sense of like, hey, don't be so fat that it's a medical issue. You know, get your life in order, get healthy, feel better good. I always say, yes, that's, that's an important message to send to people. But you know, this, like I've seen fitness channels where the topic is like how to stay ripped through the holidays, you know, how to pay attention to this, pay attention to that. And the question is, are you going to really spend the rest of your life living that way? Are you really going to spend the rest of your life? You know, this life is temporary in a hundred years. We'll all be dead. It'll be a new group of people. 150 years. There'll be a new group of people on this planet. You'll be long gone that beautiful body. And let's say for people who've achieved six pack and they, they realize now that, Oh shit, I've got to be really restrictive to maintain this, that body that you're looking at in the mirror and masturbating over all the time, that's going to be a rotting corpse in 80 years. Um, so, you know, do you really want to live like that the rest of your life? Counting calories, weighing out foods, you know, spending time with your family during the holidays physically, but really mentally you're checked out because you're always just worried about making sure that you pour a giant plate full of vegetables to fill yourself up before you have, you know, you know, not eat too much of this, not eat too much of that. There's no way to live. And I'm kind of just continuing what Bradley Aiden Johnson started on his channel with a video that was titled The Western Fallacy of Fat Loss. And, um... I'm kind of continuing like what he said, which is, you know, if I can just get one person out of the habit of spending the rest of their life on their, on this mentally unhealthy cycle of like, wow, I'm so proud. Look how much weight I lost, but I'm missing the food. So let me eat more. Oh no, I gained weight. Now I'm feel guilty and going right back. You know, like if I can get just one person out of the habit of losing weight for the rest of their lives, I, I'll, I'll consider that a victory. Um, you know, cause it's just really sick to live that way, you know, spending the rest of your life stepping on scales, you know, your confidence being shifted because of that. It's just, it's really sick. Um, so, you know, question why you're even doing it. And, um, like, you know, that's kind of a topic for another video. Why is it that people obsess so much about, especially guys obsessing over six pack abs and looking a certain way, but that's, I'll talk about that in another video.